You have installed Python and now want to start programming, but you need a code editor to type your code in. And just like there are many programming languages, there are many editors to choose from. In this video I show you your options and I will recommend you one to start with. A computer program exists of code. Here is an example. Before Python can take your code and execute it, you have to type it in and save it as a Python file. And that is what code editors are for. They let you write code and save it. In Python, code is stored in files that end with .py. There are many code editors available, and each day more of them are created. Some of them are very powerful and packed with features, and some of them are lean and mean and do only specific things. Most of them are free of charge, and some will cost you money. Some of them are boring to look at, and some of them are beautiful. It is very likely that you will try out a few of them in the future. The reason is because you will spend a lot of time in your code editor and what is good for you may depend on it works good, it looks good, it feels good, it's fast, or my uncle said I should install it. But right now you have to choose one without experimenting. That is why I am going to offer you some help with this. I use the same criteria as in the last video. 1. It should get you started with minimal effort. And 2. It should be a major code editor that is used by many people, so when you have questions you can search for answers online. And if I could recommend a code editor to start with, it would be Visual Studio Code. It offers good out-of-the-box functionality and you can add plugins later when you need them. It has great support for Python and executing your code is as easy as pressing a button. This is great for beginners. So what do you need to get started? Visual Studio Code is free of charge and runs on Windows, macOS and Linux. I will show you how to install it on macOS, but the process is pretty much the same on all platforms, so follow along. Go to visualstudio.microsoft.com. Click on Download Visual Studio Code and choose your operating system. The download starts. Save the file and open it. On macOS the contents of the zip file is an app file. You can drag it to your applications folder. I start Visual Studio Code. And this is what it looks like. You can use this welcome screen to personalize your settings, but I just ignore it. The first thing I do is go to File and open a folder. I go to my Documents folder and create a new folder. I call it Python. This is the folder that will contain all my Python files. Visual Studio asks me if I trust this folder. Well, since I just created it myself, I do. I create a new file called helloworld.py. Visual Studio asks me if I would like to install the recommended extensions for Python. I click Install. Visual Studio Code will now install the Python extensions for Visual Studio Code. You will learn later about all the benefits of this package, but one of them is really important for us right now. Let me show you. Ok, at this moment there is a lot going on on the screen, so I will close some documents and click my file explorer again. Now it's time to write some code. I will let Python print the text hello from Berlin on the screen. Do you remember you just installed the extensions for Python? The benefit from this for us now is that we get this play button here. And if we click on it, Visual Studio will execute our Python code. I save the file and click on the play button. In the bottom of the screen, a terminal window opens that shows the output of our program. Hello from Berlin. You have written your first program in Python and executed it. So what is your next step? It is time to learn Python basics. And in order to help you get started with this, I offer you the first three chapters of my Python basics course for free. Click on the video and start learning Python.